Let's talk about the, the YX8018. It's an integrated circuit developed for uh, garden solar lights. It's a four pin unit here and it controls the, uh, the LED and the charging of the battery. Here's a block diagram of it here. It's got a little solar panel on here and the, uh, the NICAD battery. Uh, the uh, LED for your light and a uh, external uh, inductor here. Now the solar panel charges the battery and all it does is it just uses a, uh, a diode drop inside the unit here to charge the battery. So whatever voltage just puts out, say the, uh, the solar panel uh, can only put out a couple of volts. So uh, it has a 0.7 volt drop across there for the, uh, the, the battery here. So you, you don't uh, put too much voltage into the battery. And uh, so this LED though, it needs uh, say three volts to operate. And we only have uh, 1.2 volts so in here we have a, a dc to dc uh, a boost converter so we have an oscillator in here and it produces a square wave that's a uh, 200 kilohertz square wave now for these dc to dc uh, boost converters what they do is they'll, they'll switch on the inductor it there's a magnetic field that builds up around it when they turn it off that field collapses and it pushes energy back into the unit and usually stores it in, in a uh, capacitor in there. And it does it, uh, you know, 200, at 200 kilohertz and the voltage in a capacitor builds up to about uh, three volts and that's enough to run your LED. Now, you can, if you change the, the size of the uh, inductor here, you can vary the current. So at, uh, 560 micro henry you get about three milliamps out of here and if you you put this down to uh, 47 micro henry's you can get 30 milliamps out of this unit here so you can control the uh, the brightness of the led now uh, why does it uh, as you decrease the 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 henry's micro henry's here the the current increases and we can do a little math here. So your your uh, your inductive reactance here is equal to two pi times the frequency times the inductance here. So for uh, 560 microhenries, you take your two pi, which is 6.28, uh, times your frequency, times your your henries, and that gets uh, it's about 700 ohms. And for 56, same thing, two pi times your frequency times your uh, your Henry's and that's about 70 ohms now inside here there's got to be a capacitor to that has to charge up I don't know what it is I'm guessing that it's about 0.1 uh, microfarad and if it was a 0.1 microfarad capacitor uh, to find the uh, capacitive reactance you just take uh, 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitor divide that into one so we've got um, our or 2 pi times the frequency times the uh, capacitance in farads divided by 1 and it comes out to about about 8 ohms now when you uh, the total uh, capacitance or total uh, uh, impedance here if these two are in series you have to subtract the uh, the capacitive reactance from the inductive reactance so we're going to take about you know subtract these from these two here and it comes out to uh, you know 695 uh, ohms for the uh, 560 uh, microhenry and 56 microhenry at 62 ohms now just with our uh, ohms law formula i is equal to v over r so the average dc voltage i looked on my scope here i will show you a picture of that That's, uh, it's three volts peak to peak, but the average says it's about 1.7 volts. So if we divide this uh, 695 ohms into the 1.7 volts, you get 2.4 milliamps. And that's close to the, uh, what it says in the spec sheet. And for the uh, 56 microhenry, 
if you divide the 62 in there, you get about 27 microenergy. So that'll wind up in here somewhere. So that that's that's fairly close. I'm going to put this diagram on the uh, in the description on my uh, on the channel. So we'll take a look at the uh, this unit here. I'm going to turn the, this on, and we're going to we're going to check the uh, the current on this thing. Now, uh, if I plug this in, the light comes on. Now, when the solar panel is on, there's light on it, and on pin three here, it gets up to about 0.5 volts. The LED will turn off. So when the sun's out, the LED turns off. When the sun goes away, or you cover this up then the LED will come on. Right now it's on because I don't have any voltage going into pin 3. It's just open. So, we have... Um, Alright. We've got about... Uh, I've got it on the uh, 560 micro Henry inductor and we've got about uh, 4.5 milliamps. So, fairly close. Let's try the uh, the, the uh, 56 microhenry inductor. Now you can see that we have uh, can you see that 23.8 uh, milliamps, and you can see that the uh, the LED is is brighter. So by changing the inductor, we can uh, we can change the uh, brightness and the uh, amount of current we're using. So uh, if you want the the light to last longer, you can use a different uh, inductor if you want it brighter you can change the uh, inductor to a smaller one to, to brighten it up so 4 milliamps up to uh, 23 23 milliamps so that's the uh, this little uh, YX 8018 and uh, they have uh, these they're very cheap and they make a uh, little solar light that they can sell for a dollar and because there's very few components that they have to put into it. Anyway, that's uh, the YX8018. Uh, thank you.